gon' get these drinks out here I got money so they put it in the bag I'm pulling off all the tags and pulling off in the jag Fuck being broke, it's broke, niggas is mad Get a job with your broke ass and get it out the hoes ass I go fast when I'm riding through the city lights I'm from the Bay West Coast with your city like New nights, fresh jeans and a snapback I'm Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm a vibe, you a vibe, we should vibe, so you should what? You should like, comment, share, and subscribe, but only if you want to, only if you want to, only if you want to, only if you want to. If you're watching, that's really all I appreciate. Everything else is extra, and if you do so, I greatly appreciate it. If you want extra juicy tea, go ahead and click the link down in my description below to join my membership if you want that extra juicy tea. A new video was posted sometime last week, so go check that out to get that tea okay period all right y'all y'all know what time it is it's monday and i got a story time for y'all so like i told y'all it's march it's march madness so i'm about to be going crazy i already put out my schedule and i'm sticking to it okay so we about to jump into this car series of how i can't fuck keep a car <laughs> i can't keep a car i have the worst luck with cars and the nigga I with play a big part in a lot of the shit too. So it's just like we about to get into all this crazy shit with me in a car. The car I got right now is my one, two, three, four, five, six. This is my seventh car. My new car that I got this year is my seventh car. I got my first car, which my mom gave me uh, when I was like 20, 19, 20. And I'm 30. So in the last 10 years, 10, 11 years, I've had seven cars. Seven cars in the last. <laughs> that's not, that's crazy, y'all. That's so crazy. But okay, y'all. So I'm about to tell y'all this story time. And this beginning part is going to sound familiar to some of y'all because y'all probably seen this when I was doing my mini Mondays. I did like a mini story time on the first part of this story so it's gonna be like three four parts in this story time right here but this first little part y'all might have heard already so if y'all want to skip like 10 20 minutes if y'all don't want to hear this part again go ahead and skip and then it's gonna be some new shit but i privated that that video so you can't go back and watch it so i don't know but all right i'm rambling too much let's hop right into this so after I had, you know, I had to get rid of my first car, my Buick, and I did a story time on that, which I still have up. I'm going to post it here. Mm -hmm. So go check that story time out. I had got the white car, which I did story times on it. But the story times I did on this car already, the car, my second car happened after what I'm about to tell so if y'all want to go check that video out, boom, right here, go check it out. All right, y'all. So basically the Buick went out on me. I had to get rid of that motherfucker and I got another car. If y'all watch the story times, y'all know what I'm talking about. So like three days after I had got this car or like a cup, I don't know if it was exactly three days. I'm going to just say, let's just say it was like a week, a week after I got this motherfucking bucket ass car that they scammed me out of all my motherfucking money for because if y'all if y'all watch the story times y'all know this car was a piece of shit but i made it you know i made it something something okay so i had got this car y'all and i was like okay i'm about to uh you know do a little pimp my ride on this little bucket y'all so i had ordered hella shit for the car car seats you know the stern wheel cover i got uh these little rims for the car wheel hubcaps they was black um what else did i do to the car i don't know just other stuff and i just decked the car out just so even though like you couldn't tell that the car was a bucket on the outside i mean the car was in good condition on the outside it was was what was under the hood that made this mother car really this car was a danger zone i don't even know how this car even lasted as long as it did but anyways that's besides the point so as y'all know back then i still blew down the house a little bit i wasn't blowing down the house as much when i was in my you know teenage years in my early 20s i'm gonna say i'm gonna say at this time i'm no i was still in my early 20s this is when i kind of started calming down blowing down the house but i had left a lot of little stuff out in the first story time i told about this which i told this story 
story time about a year ago but i had left some stuff out because it was like my mini monday i was trying to just get through the story hella quick so y'all it's my it's like i said it's about a week i had the car and it's like a monday and i'm on my way to work right so i'm in the car and i'm thinking i'm cute this was the times where i was into snapchat when snapchat was booming and you know everybody was posting all the time with the little doggy ears you know in the little flower shit on you know that was that era you feel me so i always needed to be on snappity chat especially when i wasn't around l because i couldn't do social media around l soon as i would pick up my phone l will talk shit oh you just always on your phone oh you just always want to be on the internet oh you just a social media ass it's like like I'm having some downtime. I work hard. I pay all our mother bills. I put food in our motherfucking house. If I want to be on my motherfucking phone and be on social media when I'm not at motherfucking work, bitch, I can't. You get what I'm saying? But he always tried to make it seem like I was ignoring our kid to be on social media. And it was just like, no, that was never the case. But anyways, besides the point. So anytime I got away from L, y'all know I was on that goddamn phone. I was on that goddamn Snapchat. So I'm on my way to work. And as y'all know, in the morning, it's traffic. But, you know, I'm thinking like I'm in my new car. It's all cute and decked out. You know, I want to look cute in the car because the car didn't have no tents. But I didn't mind. I did want to get tents at first, but I wasn't really tripping about it because I was like, I want it to see me because the kind of car I had and how I had fixed it up, it looked like a nigga could be driving it. So I was like, nigga's going to look at this car. Nigga's going to be looking at me. You feel me? So I want to be looking cute in the car. I want to be slapping my music and taking my little snapchats in the cars and when looking at me you know i'm a wink a little bit yes i was in a relationship but it was just like you know yeah i could look i could look you feel me as long as i don't touch i could look you feel me everybody got eyes you feel me that's what they for to look so you know I'm, you know a little eye candy don't hurt nobody anyways so yeah i'm on my way to work it's getting like bumper to bumper traffic so i'm just like yeah i pull out my phone y'all here I am, snapping it up, snapping it up, uh, 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 doggy ears, doggy tongue, uh, uh, thinking I'm cute. My jaw, um, once I got on the free, so basically I dropped Dylan off first. So I had dropped him off in daycare because he was still small. He was going to daycare and then I would be on my way to work. I would take the streets for like 20 minutes and then hop on the freeway. And then when I got on the freeway, I would light up my little, you know, my little tree skis. So that's where I fucked up. And this is one of the reasons why I stopped, you know, getting, you know, on cloud, on cloud 9,000 in the morning. Because I started doing dumb shit driving, thinking I was just the baddest bitch in my car. So, you know, after I dropped Dylan off, I'm cruising through the street on snap da, 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 da. i get to the freeway and i'm like okay cool i'm about to put my phone down i'm driving i'm cruising it's back-to-back -back traffic i like my little tree skis up so i'm blowing down the house in the car i'm thinking i'm that big i don't know what it was i just thought smoking in the car was just so lit you know and like nigga looking at you and you just smoking in the car and it's just like yeah nigga. you feel me i don't know i just thought i just thought that was cute then I, now whatever so I'm blowing down the house. So mind y'all, I'm lit. I'm lit as hell. So I put it out. I'm cruising on the freeway. I ain't thinking too much of it. I get to the city I work in, which is like a city over from where I live. I get in Concord. Now, when I get to Concord, you know, you get off the freeway and then you go down the street. It's called Willow Pass. Now, Willow Pass is a long ass road. It go from like Antioch, Pittsburgh, Concord, Walnut Creek. It just go through a bunch of cities. But I'm on this road, right? I'm big lit, y'all. When I get high and I'm driving, I be like 50-50 paranoid, but then at the same time, I be thinking I'm in a music video. You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking Rick Ross or some, you know, cruising in the Maybach and big or not. You're in traffic. You're driving. You're not in the back seat. Pay attention. So, I'm lit. I'm thinking I'm cute. I'm in my new car. I'm slapping music. I'm hot as hell. You know, and back-to-back, -back, bumper to bumper traffic. So, I'm on my phone, y'all snapping it up again you know i'm hot now so i'm thinking i'm like fine as hell i'm like mm, 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 mm. so i'm not really paying attention i'm not really paying attention to the road but i'm you know i'm, I'm you know peeping you know boom okay okay little breaky break 
Y'all, it's hella back-to-back -back lights on this street for no fucking reason. I mean, every two seconds is a fucking light. Okay, so we get to this point where, you know, it's a light and the light green. You know, I'm snapping still, but when I looked up, the light green. So I'm expecting, you know, the car in front of me to be moving. That's what I'm expecting in my fucking head. I don't know why. Just because the light green don't mean the car go in traffic, Shayla. Think, but I'm high. I'm lit. I'm not. My my brain is not functioning at full capacity because I'm on Clyde Cloud Fifty Thousand early in the goddamn morning. I ain't even put nothing on my mother's stomach. I ain't even drank a sip of water yet. But I didn't got lit. <laughs> like, girl, what are you doing, y'all? So I'm just going snapping, snapping. Next thing I know, boom. I'm like, bitch, the car is not, I'm not moving. The car not moving, the car in front of me not moving. I'm like, oh my fuck, God, did I just hit him? Did I, well, I didn't know it was a man at first. I was like, did I just hit them? I'm like, oh my God, so like, I, I, I put my foot on the brake. Because y'all, I'm telling y'all, I just took my foot off the gas. I, but you know, I can't move because, you know, I just hit the car. They, they stopped. So when my brain got the clicking like, yeah, bitch, you just can hit somebody from the back. You need to put your foot on the fuck brake. What are you doing? <laughs> snap back. Get off snap and snap into reality, bitch. You just fuck hit somebody. So I put my get my phone down and girl, I, I threw that mug. I, <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm spooked. I'm spooked because I had never hit nobody before. And I'm like, oh my God, I just got this car. Mind you, this car is in my mama name. I mean, I'm on the insurance, but the car is technically in my mama's name. I just got the car. So I'm just like, oh my God, I'm hoping there's like no damage to the car. So I'm just like panicking, but I'm so lit, y'all. I'm not even comprehending everything that's going I'm still just sitting there like, Mind you, we ain't bumper to bumper traffic. So the traffic started flowing and the car behind me honking. And I'm just like, well, bitch, I'm in a car accident. Then I start thinking, oh my God, you need to put on your hazard light. So I put on my hazard light and I'm like telling them to go around because I'm just like, I, we just got an offender bender. So the dude get out the car, y'all. It's, it's an Asian dude. He get out the car. He talking hella shit. He like, oh my fucking God, you just hit my fucking car. This is a brand new car. I just got this car. And I'm like, okay, sir. Well, I just got my car too. It was an accident. I didn't see that you was stopped. It was a green light. I don't know why you was stopped. Like, I, I'm just like, Nick, really, it's both of our fault. Because why is you stopped at a green light? Because, make it make sense. Like, you know, the traffic wasn't like flowing hella fast, but it was flowing a little bit. You know, I really don't know why he was stopped at the mother light. Because basically, like, if he would have went, he would have been in the middle of an intersection. But the light was green. All the lights was green, but he could have went. Like, you know what I mean? But whatever. Some people like to play it safe, you know. I guess I'm just an aggressive driver. I'm going to go in the fucking intersection, depending on where we at. So anyway, he talking shit or whatever. And I'm just like, I'm so sorry, but I don't understand why you would stop at the green light. Like y'all, I'm panicking though. I'm frantic. I'm just like, oh my God, what do I do? The car not in my name. He start asking me for my insurance and shit. And I'm just like, mind you, I don't got the insurance information. And I know y'all probably like, why wasn't the insurance in your glove department? I just had got the car. And then my mom had just had put that car on her insurance. And so, you know how sometimes they'll give you like a digital a digital copy of your insurance my mama had that in her email on her phone i didn't have it yet so i didn't think to like take a picture or anything of it because i'm just not thinking i would need it right away you know i'm young dumb it's my first time you know really having a car for real because like my buick um i never had to do anything like that with it so yeah so, I'm just basically trying to tell him, like, um, 
what like I don't I don't have my insurance information on me I just got the car and he's just like no you need to give me your insurance information and I'm like I don't got the insurance information like I'm 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 plotting in my head like I'm about to do the dash like I don't know what this nigga talk about but I got for one I'm about I, I don't want to be late to work I need to get to work and I don't got no insurance I don't even have a, a driver's license a permit none of that shit like I'm literally out here driving dirty like mind you I just I was just blowing down the house so I'm smelling like tree skis you can tell I'm lit it's tree skis in the car I'm like this 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 not a good situation for me right now so I'm just like sir like I don't know what to tell you but I'm looking at his car really there was no damages there was literally no damages to his car it might have been like a little scratch or something but it was literally no damage to this man's car the most that happened was to my car my license plate had fell off and I, I had a like a, a scrape on my car so I'm looking at my license plate like let me grab my license plate. Let me get in my car and I'm about to do the dash. Like I'm getting up out of here. So y'all, as I'm going to go pick up my license plate, why he grab it? Like I'm literally like reaching down to grab my license plate. This man snatched that license plate up and he was like, no, pull over, pull over. Or I'm not giving you your license plate back. You need to pull over so I can get your insurance information. So now I'm panicking. I'm just like, give me my license plate. Give me my license plate. Like, why are you grabbing my license plate? He like, because you need to pull over. You need to pull over to the side. You need to follow me so I can get your information. Y'all, I'm crying now because I'm just like, oh my God. Like what is about to happen, y'all? I'm just just panicking I'm just like oh my goodness I don't want to have to call my mom she's gonna be like girl what is you doing you being irresponsible I, I, I did not want to hear my mama mouth so I'm just like okay let me pull over and just I don't know let's just see so we pull over to the side right the man go look I get your license plate back and I'm going to take your information if you give me $200. And I'm like, $200? I'm like, what? He's like, yeah, if you give me $200, I will give you your license plate and I'll let you go. So I'm like, I don't have $200 cash on me. Like, He's like, the bank right there. We can go over to the bank. You can get $200 at the bank and give me $200. And I'll let you go. I'm going to call the police. So, y'all, in my young, dumb brain, I'm like, okay. Instead of just calling my mom, getting the insurance information. Because I'm not, I don't know, y'all. I'm lit. I don't know. I'm young. I've never been in that situation. I just was just like, okay, let me just do this and get this man up out my hair. Because, you feel me? Like, I don't want this dude to call the police. I'm thinking he gonna really call the police on me and the police gonna pull up and they gonna see that I'm hot, it's weed in my car and heck of stuff. So I'm just like, I don't need that. So I go to the bank, I get the $200, y'all. I give the man the $200, he drive off. He get my license plate back, y'all. I'm just crying. I'm like, oh my God, I cannot believe this happened. I finally call my mom. I tell my mom what happened. Like, she was cool, but she was just basically telling me, like, why the fuck you give him $200? Why you just didn't call me? I could have gave the man my insur the insurance information or whatever. And I'm just like, I don't know, mom. I just thought that was the thing to do in the moment. And she was like, don't ever do that shit again. You need to call me if something like that happens. And I'm just like, okay, well, now I know going forward, y'all. I'm just like crying. You know, she kind of calmed me down. I get off the phone with her. And I'm just like parked at the bank just like what the hell Shayla so I get in the car I definitely didn't pick back phone back up I'll drive to work I go to work cool that happened so I had to go to the bank again I think like a couple days after because I was about to be going on a trip to Vegas so I had to get cash to give to Miss Burgundy um because she was paying for the her sister was paying for the trip on her travel card and so y'all this is before we knew to do like cash app and venmo zelle all that kind of stuff so i was like i need to go get some cash to give her the cash so she can get a cash to her sister same same week so i had left this part out when i had first told 
this mini story the story i just told so keep keep watching because there's more to this is more to this right here so one morning it's i think it's like a friday because friday traffic be good so it's like a friday i get to conquer early where i work i go to the bank i'm in a chippery good ass mood i'm like yeah i'm about to go to vegas i'm about to be outside i'm about to be big chilling you feel me y'all i go to the bank i park mind y'all on my way you know i'm not really on my phone like that no more because i learned my lesson like girl okay you you can't be on snapchat while you driving you need to pay attention but i still be you know getting lit before work <laughs> you feel me so i little hit a little little bit y'all why when i got out the car to get the cash i fucking left my keys in the car and I don't, the door is locked so i get the cash out the bank i go back to my car i dig in my purse i'm like okay no key so i go to try to open the door because i didn't lock the door they just locked on their own usually they wouldn't even do that so i don't know i don't know if this was just a lesson being learned like <laughs> you need to not be doing too much while you late because you know i'm trying to like even though i got to conquer early i was going to be on time to work i was still kind of rushing in a type of way like i was i got out the car hella fast i wasn't even paying attention because mind you i'm lit but i'm still like moving hecka fast so i'm just digging through my purse panicking the door knock, and i'm like oh my god please do not tell me i locked my keys in the car oh my goodness please do not tell me i locked my keys in the car i'm like okay maybe i just dropped my keys on the floor or something so y'all i'm walking because i had to park and then walk a little bit way to get to the little atm it was on the other side of the parking lot of the bank so i'm like retracing my steps hella times i'm just like oh my god oh my god y'all i'm panicking i'm crying i'm just like oh my god i was just about to be on time i'm having a good day and now this shit is happening where i cannot find my keys i can't get back in my car oh my goodness I'm panicking up and down the street. I'm just hollering, crying. Oh my God, I cannot believe this. Another fuck thing happened. So mind y'all, if y'all watch the story where I told I got scammed for that car, I have been going through that, learning that my car was basically a lemon car. And if y'all don't know what a lemon car is, basically they sold you a janky ass car. I had just hit somebody. I just coughed up $200 for that. Now this is happening. All this is happening in what, like about a week or two? so this car was stressing me out from day one so i'm just like oh my god so I, I couldn't find the key so i'm like i had to have left them in the car so i'm peeking through the windows y'all i see the keys i'm like oh my god the keys are in the car so i'm trying to pull like push pull the window down i have seen some shit if you lock your keys in the car try these things so i'm trying to like pull the window down mind you it's cracked like a little bit so i'm trying to pull it down put my hands in pull it down not working i'm so irritated with myself i'm just like okay after this you not smoke no more in the morning no more you not until you get home you girl because no no i'm just talking so much stuff i'm like oh my god you dumb why would you do that you rushing Ugh. so y'all i seen i had seen like a locksmith place on my way to work one day so i was just like okay it's in it's in walking distance so i walked over there it's literally like around the corner from where i was like a two minute five minute walk so i walk over there they're closed they don't open till i think they didn't open till nine and i think i started work at either i think 8 30 so i'm i'm thinking okay i'm gonna have to just be late but it's right here i won't be so late so like let me let my job know that i'm gonna be late i lock my keys in the car so i hit um the people and i'm like i locked my keys in the car going to the bank i'm gonna be a little late the locksmith's place is right here i just need to wait until they open so they can come open my car and i get 
my key so I can get in my car. Mind y'all, I don't know why I didn't think, call my mom. We have insurance. They will send someone out to come unlock your car for free. The locksmith place opens. They telling me it's about to cost me $175 to get my keys out my car. I'm mad as hell. I'm crying. I'm like, I just had to cough up $200 because I hit somebody. Now $175 because I didn't lock my keys in the car. Mind you, I had to give Miss Burgundy money for this trip we about to go on. We literally about to go on this trip that weekend. I'm just like, oh my God, this cannot be happening. That's my spending money. That's my spending money. I just coughed up all my goddamn spending money. So I'm just like, nah, I don't want to do that. So some dude seen me crying outside my car. He's like, what's up? Are you okay? What's going on? Do you need some help? I'm telling him what just happened. I'm like, I went to the bank. I was rushing. I left my keys in the car. They talk about 175. And he's just like, look, I got you. I got some tools in my car. I've locked my keys in the car before. Let me help you. Y'all, the dude come. He get the little stuff. Get the window down. Get the car open, y'all. I'm so grateful. I'm just like, oh, my God. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mind y'all, he was cute as hell, too. Oh, he was so cute. Oh, he was so cute. But, you know, I'm in a relationship. So, after he do that, he's just like, yeah, calm down. Don't cry. You know, sometimes you just gotta, you know, be a little patient. I must be your guardian angel. And I'm like, boy, you can be more than my guardian angel. But, you know, I'm in a relationship. Let me not. So, he was like, here, take my number down. You seem really cool. Maybe we can get lunch or something sometime. So, I take his number, y'all. I never hit the dude or nothing. But I did take his number because I didn't want to seem rude. Like, no. You know, he just helped me get in my car or whatever. So, I just took the number. I get to work. I give Miss Burgundy the money. Boom. That happened. So, we're going to get into the next series of events in this goddamn car. One day, me and L, we getting into it real bad. It was one of them days, y'all. He had took my car without asking me with his bitch ass. And um, he pulled up to my house. No, mind y'all, I wake up. In the middle of the night, he going in my car as usual. I'm calling him. He not answering. Finally, he come back in my car. We getting into it. We arguing. I'm telling him, you can't drive my car no more. I'm about to hide my keys from you. Don't ever ask me to use my car again because you just be gone and you be gone for hours in my mother's car. Who knows who you be having in my car. You be hanging out with motherfuckers I don't like. Don't ask me, can you use my car? You're not going to find my fucking keys. I don't give a shit if I got to fucking put them bitches in the attic every day and hide them. I will. If I got to put them bitches in the toilet and flush <laughs> I will. You're I'm about to. I'm literally about to be hiding my keys from you because I don't like that you be taking my car without asking me. So we getting into it. We getting a little tussle, rustle and tussle. He get mad. He like, you know what? I'm about to go to my auntie house. I'm about to go to my auntie house. I'm like, okay, go to your fucking auntie house. I don't care if you go into your auntie house. Y'all, L was the type of nigga he always wanted to use Dylan against me. Because ever since he had read in my diary, if y'all didn't see that story time, boom, this story time here. That, you know, when I first found out I was pregnant, I didn't know if I wanted to keep Dylan. I didn't know if I wanted to have a kid. Ever since then, y'all. He always would use that in some type of way. Also in my diary is where I had written how my dad had took me and my sister from my mom. And he would basically use that kind of shit when we would get mad at each other to get under my skin. So he was like, yeah, I'm about to take my son. He coming with me and we ain't never coming back. Ah, ah. And I'm just like, why the fuck you say shit like that? Like that shit used to really fuck me irritate the fuck out of me that is the stuff right there what make me put my hands on l because it's like how dare you throw some deep personal shit like that in my face because you don't have nothing else to say <laughs> that kind of stuff is not cool so you know boop watch your fucking mouth who is you talking to who is you talking to so anyways somebody come pick him up and he took Dylan with him because I was just like, 
I'm not finna fight with him to take Dylan and do all that. If Dylan wanna go with him, he can go with him. That's his dad. Basically, oops. basically, Elle will use the fact that Dylan would like to go over to his auntie house because she had kids over there his age. He could play. They had a lot of shit going on over there for kids. So he would wanna go. I'm not gonna stop myself from going over there and being with his family. They just down the street. If he wanna come home or if I want him to come home, I can go pick him up. So they go over there that day. I'm at the house chilling, doing a self-care day, just calming down from being so mad. And he called me. He's like, are you going to be able to pick me and Dylan up later? I'm like, oh, I thought you was leaving and you wasn't coming back. Now you want to come? You want me to come pick you up? Oh, oh, OK. I'm like, you know what? I ain't even going to be petty. I'll come pick my son up. And if I have a change of heart about you, you can get in the car and you can come back too. But I don't know. I'll think about that. But I was basically telling him because one of my headlights had went out in the car. I didn't want to drive at night unnecessarily until I had got it fixed. Mind you, I don't got no L's. Insurance in my mama name. For some reason, I still didn't have the insurance on me. I did have a registration, but I'm basically riding dirty. You feel me? So I'm telling him I don't want to be riding around at night if I don't need to, especially downtown. It's always police down there. He like, all right, cool. Time passing. It's starting to get dark. So I'm calling him. Hey, what's up? I'm coming to pick y'all up. Is y'all ready? Because if not, you won't have to get a ride home or you, you feel me? I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. I don't want to be driving at night unnecessarily. He's like, we're going to be ready in a minute. We're going to be ready in a minute. Y'all, I lay down. I wake up. It's night. It's dark. So I'm like, damn. He calling me. He's like, we ready. I'm like, Ugh, I really don't want to come pick y'all up. It's dark now. Can y'all see if somebody over there can bring y'all to the house? I don't want to be driving. He's like, you're going to be cool. You're going to be good. Just come pick us up. We're ready to come home. Don't nobody want to give us a ride. Everybody over here been drinking. I don't want to get in the car with them and they've been drinking. So I'm like, damn. All right. I'm going to come get y'all. So y'all, I put on a hoodie, a beanie, and some sweats because I'm just going to pick them up. I'm not going to be cute or whatever and get all dressed up to go five minutes down the street to pick up, to pick them up. I'm riding in the car, y'all. I get to where I'm almost there. I'm out of light. It's a two lane street. Y'all, I see a police. I'm like, damn. So I'm like, let me just drive slow. He in the other lane. I'm going to let him. We because we basically both came up to the light. I'm in this lane. He in this lane. This lane is a turning lane at the light. You got to turn. And then there's a gas station. So you either turn into the gas station or you got to turn and make a right. This lane, you go straight. You can only go straight. You can't turn or nothing. So I'm like, let me just slow down. Let me let him bust that turn. And then, you know, I'm going to pick the speed back up. Y'all, why the nigga slow down too? I'm like, oh my God. No, he ain't. No, he ain't. Not today. Not today. Not today. Not today. So I'm like, I can't just stop. Hold on, y'all. Hello? So it's all right, what you doing? I'm recording. What you doing? Oh, uh, shit, hit me when you do <laughs> Okay. Alright. Okay, bye. So I can't just stop, y'all. I gotta keep going. <laughs> it's gonna look hella weird if I just stop driving and it's a green light. So I'm like, alright, let me just play it cool. I'm driving. The nigga get out the turning lane, get behind me. I'm like, ah, this nigga about to blurt me. He about to get me. But I'm just like, okay, maybe he not. Maybe he's just going the uh, wrong way. He just made me want to go this way now. Y'all, I get like a block. Blurt me. Lights on. I pull over. I'm panicking. I had never got pulled over before. I ain't got no L's. I ain't got the insurance on me. All I know is the registration in there. I am on my mama insurance, but I don't have it on me. <sighs> Y'all. <laughs> the dude come to the car. He like, let your window down. I'm like, what's up, officer? Can I ask you why you pulling me over? He's like, your headlight is out. Can I see your license and registration? So I give him my ID and I give him the car registration. He come back to the car. He was like, okay, I see that you don't have a license. Can I see your insurance? And I was like, the insurance is in my mom's name, but I'm on the insurance plan. So next thing I know, another cop car pull up 
behind me. This nigga get out the car and he like, you need to get out the car. I, 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 I. And the other officer like, I got this. She cool. She just had a headlight out. Because I'm thinking, okay, so I told y'all how I was dressed. I'm thinking they thought I was a hood nigga. Because I'm telling y'all, the car I had and how I decked it out, it looked like it would be a hood nigga driving this car. It don't look like some young 20 year old girly girl will be driving this car so when he pulled up and he noticed that it was a female he kind of like changed his demeanor the first cop but when that second cop pulled up i'm guessing he just seeing walking up to the car because mind you it's a fishbowl no tents he probably thought i was a hood nigga um he came up like hella aggressive so now i'm fucking scared y'all he got the light all in my face and hella shit he's like let me see your eyes why your eyes red are you under the influence just ask me hella shit i'm like no i'm just coming to pick up my son i literally live right down the street i was just going to pick up my son and come right back home and he's just like yeah because you don't have a license and why you don't have the insurance i'm like that i'm on the insurance but it's the car is in my mom name but you know i'm just explaining talking the dude is just being hella rude y'all so i'm scared i'm panicking i'm crying i'm just like oh my god he got his light and shit all in my face and shit being hella aggressive i don't want to get pew pew by the police i'm like oh my god L's calling me so I put L on I answer the phone I got L on the phone he hearing what's going on basically um the first cop basically told the other cop like chill she cool I'm just gonna write her a ticket and let her know she can't drive off in the car or somebody else with a license needs to come drive the car so that happened they drive off y'all I'm sitting in the car I'm like oh my god like at that point I had never had a uh encounter with a police and they was being like hella rude and aggressive i'm telling you, that second cop had me spooked y'all like he was being hella aggressive he had his hand on his you know on on his thing and he had that light all in my face and she ain't being hella aggressive asking me all kind of stupid ass questions so i called l um i had hung up actually and then i called l back and he's like what's going on i seen there was the police do i need to come down there da, da, da. i'm like cussing him out. i'm like see this is why they want to come pick y'all up at night i told you that this kind of shit be happening i'm just going off on him because i'm just like if you you would have just let me pick you up earlier when i told you i wanted to pick you up i wouldn't even be in this situation mind you it's like you basically stole my car the day before we got into it you talked hella shit about me you threw hella shit in my face and then you had the nerve to call me to pick your ass up i come pick you up and then this shit happens all right that shit literally pissed me the fuck off i'm hot i'm mad i'm so mad at him so my mom comes and she picks up the car she comes with my brother my mom drive my car i keep saying his name we go pick up l and dylan my mom take me to the house she's basically like look you need to get your license you need to get your permit here's a copy of the insurance you need to make sure you have this stuff on you but you need to hurry up and get your license so you're not you know in these kind of situations i'm like you're right mom you're right you're right you're right i still didn't get my license after that for a couple more years right like a year or two later because i think at that time i was like 22 23 maybe i didn't get my license till i was like 24 25 so boom I didn't think nothing of it so on a ticket y'all it tells you when you got a court date and you got to go to court for the ticket basically it was a fix it ticket if i would have just went and got the light fixed and then showed proof that i got the ticket i mean i got the light fixed they would have basically dismissed the ticket y'all i'm thinking oh i ain't think nothing of it some years go by they got me for that fucking ticket y'all one year oh what year was it i think it was 2020 so basically this situation happened in what 2000 if i was i don't know basically a few years before in 2020 oh they sent the letter to me talking about yeah we about to take that money about your check y'all basically over that time period mind you the ticket would have been so if i would have paid that ticket right after i got it um 
Well, if I would have got the light fixed and then show proof or whatever, I wouldn't have had to pay no ticket at all. It would have just been, that's a fix a ticket. A fix a ticket is basically you go fix what it is, you go up to the police station, show the proof, ticket dismissed. If you don't do that within, I think, 60 to 90 days, then you got to pay a fine. Usually the fine is from like $200 to $500, depending on what the fine is, what the violation is, and you know, how, you know, each violation has a fee. If I would have paid it right when I got, you know, they t uh, I missed the fix it. If I would have paid the ticket after the 90 days of me not getting the light fix, which I did get the light fix. I don't know why this didn't go up there. I didn't know no better at the time. I probably would only have to pay like two, three hundred dollars for the ticket. I waited all them years, y'all, and they came, got me. I had to pay seventeen hundred dollars for that fucking ticket. $1,700. $1,700. They took my state taxes. They garnished my check. They got that money on, okay? They was not playing. They said, bitch, we getting our coins. You thought you, you, thought you got away. You thought you got away. <laughs> One thing about the government. One thing about the government. They'll let you think you got away with some shit for a long ass time. They will let you think you got away with some shit. But they come for their coins. They gonna eventually come for their coins. They want their money. Give it to me. And if you got a job, you got a business, we're gonna get it. We're gonna get it. We're gonna snatch them coins. That's what the fuck happened. That's what happened. That's what happened, y'all. That's how I got my first ticket. And that's what happens when you don't pay your ticket or get whatever they saying needs to be fixed fixed but yeah y'all this is part one of the car series i hope y'all enjoyed this story time this is really like a warm-up y'all told me y'all want the shit in order usually i like to you know get y'all to razzle dazzle first and then slow it down but i'm giving it to y'all in order so that's the first one of this series Let's see, did I miss something? Okay, yeah, so yeah. Um, and then from here, it just gets out of control. It just gets out of control. It just gets out of control, y'all. There's so many little twists and turns with me and a car. I can't keep a fucking car for shit. I can't keep a car for nothing. But I hope y'all enjoyed this story time. Young people out there, please, please take having a car serious. Make sure you got your license. Make sure you got your insurance. Make sure you paying your insurance. Make sure you got good insurance. Make sure when you buying these cars, it's a good, decent car. You do your checks on it. You make sure everything is functioning properly. I know sometimes it's just like, oh, I need a car. I'm just throw a couple thousand you know a couple of dollars down get this little bucket but them little buckets can cost you later on them little buckets can cost you later on and basically what was going on with the light was y'all like i was saying they have white they had rigged that car in some many ass type of way i had to keep changing the light because the way the wiring was the light would just kept fusing out like it would not it just kept killing the light I had to get that shit rewired. It cost me hella money. That car cost me so much money, it was not even worth it. I, I put more money probably into that car than how much I paid for it. It was ridiculous. But yeah, just young people out there. If you can put $3,000 down on a car, you can get a newer car. Don't put fucking $3,000 down on the buckets. Please don't. You can get a newer car that should be functioning pretty well for a couple thousand dollars down. So yeah, y'all, that's episode one. And I'm so ready and excited for March Madness. Let me give y'all a little, cause I wrote everything down for March Madness. Let me give y'all like a little breakdown. So y'all should be seeing this Monday the 4th. Um, I'm going live Tuesday the 5th. Y'all going to get part two of the car series Wednesday the 6th. Y'all going to get part three of the car series Thursday. Y'all going to get um, 
a talk through video where I'm talking about why I'm quitting my job. Y'all gonna get my workout vlog and that's gonna conclude week one, week two, story time, live, hair maintenance videos, slash self care videos, story time, house update, slash deep cleaning, workout vlog number two, week three, story time, live, um, I got a desk, I'm gonna be uh, showing y'all that, story time, car update, uh workout vlog part three week four story time live closet tour story time and then i haven't finished week four yet but yeah that is the schedule for march madness so y'all about to be getting damn near six videos a week at least four to five but I'm pushing for six videos a week if I stick to my schedule. Also, I'm starting my workout journey. So I hope you guys like those type of videos. I'm going to be showing you guys, you know, my workouts that I'm doing throughout the week. And, you know, explaining my body goals, my weight goals, and just basically doing workouts, you know, at home. And this this is lazy bitch workout. So I'm calling this the lazy girl workout. Okay. I love working out don't get me wrong but i be lazily working out don't get me wrong it be days where i'm putting in that work but i'm gonna start off light and just show y'all the lazy girl guide to working out you know just basically getting your body ready to do major workouts so if y'all want to follow along i hope y'all keep up with those vlogs so y'all can get tips and tricks everyone asks me all the time how do i get my body to look the way it look mind you y'all my stomach and my back is not in shape at all you know i'll be hitting them angles but baby y'all gotta watch the vlog so y'all can see what it's really working with. i'm about to be raw and uncut in them videos so that i can really track my progress so keep up with that i'm gonna have a lot of tips and tricks on there how i gain buns because that's one thing i know how to do i know how to build a booty so i'm about to be showing y'all how to do that uh ladies out there if you got saggy boobies or you looking at ways to like shrink your boobs for bigger boob girls i got tricks on that uh tricks on working on the back on the stomach on the legs on the everything so just stay tuned for that workout vlog um workout vlogs i'm about to be doing and yeah i'm gonna see y'all in my next video and y'all gonna see me in this shirt because I'm about to film a bunch of videos. Because I'm in a video filming mode. I'm not about to fucking change my shirt. Y'all already know. I'll be filming videos back to back because I got to. I got a full time job. <laughs> so I gotta film videos when I got the time. So I'm about to just film them back to back because I got the time. It's Saturday night. I'm not going out. It's 9 42. So why not? I'm about to be up couple hours filming some videos all right i was just rambling y'all like what i rambled though y'all do period and y'all y'all see my braces they blue oh ah, that's my shirt period oh see yeah see how i met you y'all like the blue yo i'm getting my braces off in september or october so when i go back i go back to the dentist on april 17th uh basically they're gonna be replacing well repositioning some of my brackets because my dentist don't like how they're positioned mind you the positions that they're in now was from when i was going to western dental and they was fucking up my teeth and that's why i had to start my braces journey all over but uh so yeah they're gonna be um moving some of my brackets in different positions closing my gap and just basically getting everything together but it look nice and don't mind the unevenness of my teeth y'all i had chipped my teeth y'all if y'all watch my dentist video worst dentist or whatever i'm gonna post that video here or y'all should see that video here go check this video if y'all want to know how my teeth got fucked up because i'll break it down and i explained it but after i get my braces off my regular dentist she's gonna file my teeth even so once they're all straight i'm gonna get them filed even you feel me so yeah 
Deuces. I'm going to vibe you a vibe. We should vibe. So you should what? You should like, comment, share, and subscribe. But only if you want to. 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 If you're watching, that's really all I appreciate. Everything else is extra. And if you do so, I greatly appreciate it. If you want extra juicy tea, go ahead and click the link down in my description below to join my membership for that extra juicy tea. A new video was posted about a week. Uh, a new video was recently posted. And I will be posting a new video soon. So stay tuned for that. All right, y'all. I'm going to see you on my next video. Deuces.